81 upon 9 minus 80 under square root then all under square root we have to simplify this so we can use two methods to solve it let's try the method one now this is in the form of a upon b square root so we can write it as square root of a upon square root of b so this we can write square root of 81 upon 9 minus 80 under square root under square root or this we can again write 81 under square root equals to 9 upon 9 minus 80 under square root then under square root now to remove this square root if we can write these two terms in the form of a plus minus b whole square then with this whole square we can remove the square root so let's try we have 9 upon 9 here we can write it as 5 plus 4 then minus square root of 80 as 16 times 5 then under square root or 9 upon 5 we can write it as square root of 5 square because you see when a is under square root it means a is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 when we square it exponent is also multiplied by 2 so this gets cancelled so a number a can be written as its square root squared so 5 can be written as square root of 5 square then plus 4 s 2 square minus again this 16 times 5 under square root it is in the form of a times b under square root and this we can write square root of a times square root of b so this we can write square root of 16 times square root of 5 then all under square root now this is equal to square root of 5 square plus 2 square minus 16 under square root it's equal to 4 then times square root of 5 under square root or 9 upon square root of 5 square plus 2 square minus 4 we can write 2 times 2 then times square root of 5 all under square root now if square root of 5 is equal to a then it is a square and 2 equals to b then it is b square then it is minus 2 times a times b so it is a square plus b square minus 2ab the algebraic expression that we can write it as a minus b whole square so this is equal to 9 minus square root of 5 minus 2 whole square under square root now we can remove the square root with this square so it is equal to 9 upon square root of 5 minus 2 now this is in the denominator so we need to rationalize it so we multiply and divide by the conjugate of square root of 5 minus 2 conjugate of x plus y is x minus y so conjugate of square root of 5 minus 2 will be square root of 5 plus 2 upon square root of 5 plus 2 why do we multiply and divide by the same number because it's then equals to multiplying it by 1 because both gets cancelled so we are not changing the number we are just rationalizing the denominator so this is equal to 9 times square root of 5 plus 2 upon now this is equal to square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 5 minus 2 and it is in the form of a plus b times a minus b differences of square so this we can write 9 times square root of 5 plus 2 upon square root of 5 square minus 2 square because this is equal to a square minus b square now we can cancel the square root with this square so it is 9 times square root of 5 plus 2 upon 
5 minus 2 square is 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1. So this is equal to 9 times square root of 5 plus 2. This is our answer. So this equals to 9 times square root of 5 plus 2. Now another method is, now second method is, we first rationalize the denominator. Let's try this method and see which one is faster and easier. So it will be 81 upon 9 minus square root of 80. You multiply and divide by the conjugate of 9 minus square root of 80. That will be 9 plus square root of 80 upon 9 plus square root of 80. Then under square root, this is equal to 81 times 9 plus square root of 80 upon, this is in the form of differences of square, a minus b times a plus b. So it will be a square minus b square. So 9 square minus square root of 80 square under square root so this is equal to 81 times sorry here it is 9 9 plus square root of 80 upon 9 square is 81 and we can remove the square root with the square so it is minus 80 under square root 81 minus 80 is 1 so we can write it as 81 times 9 plus square root of 80 under square root. Now it is in the form of a times b under square root. So we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So this we can write square root of 81 times 9 plus square root of 80. Now 81 under square root equals to 9 then times 9 plus square root of 80 we can break down this into 5 plus 4 then plus square root of 80 as 16 times 5 under square root now the same process so 9 times this will be square root of 5 square plus 2 square plus 4 times square root of 5 all under square root or 9 times square root of 5 square plus 2 square plus 2 times 2 times square root of 5 so this we can write square root of 5 plus 2 whole square under square root now we can remove the square root with the square so this is equal to 9 times square root of 5 plus 2 under parenthesis this is our answer so which method did you like more which was faster let me know in the comment section. So this is equal to 9 times square root of 5 plus 2. Thanks for watching.